Hello, my lovely Libra. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Libra loves, today we'll do your monthly reading, and this will be for the month of March 2021. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, and Venus Signs. Take what mostly speaks, resonates, and connects with you. Leave what doesn't. And as well, this is a way more extensive reading than we usually do here on the channel. And also, the reading has an extension. The extension you'll find in the memberships. Look in the description box if you want to join the memberships. And you will find the extension out there. Also, we'll look from Aries to the Pisces. We'll pick a few signs you are potentially dealing. And we're looking in overall energy between you two right now. What's your vibe? What's their vibes? And the potential outcome between you two. All right, loves. But let's see here. March. It's a more and much milder month than previous month. As well, we do have, I believe, a full moon in your zodiac sign, loves. Piscean energy around-ish, but also it's kind of more like balancing emotions because you are the balance. But let's see, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus Signs, what are the strongest messages or the strongest message we need to know this month? We have a leg up for you, building blocks, poised, and soulmates and underneath we have time to go there is something here you need to leave behind or you need to let it go libra and let it go for good because it's kind of preventing you to welcome a new person or a new energy here for some of you you might need some help to do so for others of you somebody here needs your help but poised energy is a very beautiful energy here and as well the building blocks building something new something more beautiful than you used to or something here more content but spirit says with the poised card here be ready be confident Whatever is here. And that I might speak here with a single parent. Doesn't need to, but it's a single person here. And do the work. Let go. Clean it up. These are two cards came up. And, you know, sometimes the bottom of the deck is something here you are not knowing yet that you need to work on. So, my lovely Libras, I feel here it's a good month to do so. Building something new. Be ready for this. Because it's coming something good. For some of you, you might have help from somebody. For some of you, you need to help somebody to reorganize or to get organized with their life. But let's see here. What the spirit and what the energies are here for you and very much thank you for each of you who are joining the channel please like subscribe share and give your feedback as much as you can or if you feel that you are strongly connected ten of swords bam let it go loves tens are there is a situation here who is gone it's over. It's over for quite a long time. Seems that you are quite hold on, or somebody here it is holding on on a dead end. Magician, Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups, and Lovers. That's a choice. You stay miserable or you, you go to be happy. Look at here. And look at here. This is what you manifest here. Soulmate, Twin Flame Energy, Ten of Cups, this is my Twin Flame Energy. From the Oracles, we do have a Soulmate. And I feel here, 
holding on on an old pattern is not making you better but also with the magician you are the magician this month you manifest anything and everything and you are capable to have that because magician has it all and yeah ace of cups so libra it's very very short and sweet energy don't hold it back don't hold it back because you basically whatever it's you holding is you holding on your own happiness you block your own happiness five of pentacles as the spirit says always always there is room for more five of pentacles knight of swords tower you might still have a lot of uh, questions for whoever left you or whatever happened or you want to make you know a give and take spirit says there's a tower moment why you keep going backwards as the direction is not there king of swords high priestess temperance sun seven of wands and ace of swords wow ace of cups and ace of swords here the truth is you have new things in your life in the month of march high priestess piscean energy in the pisces season and you know whatever it is you know crystal clear what you gotta do so leave that behind that's how one of my friends said like why you keep going back if there's no place out there for you you have your place somewhere else you know you need to heal i feel here i'm speaking with a single limbra get clear your intuition is telling you heal heal that that whatever is here crushed you left you the way it left you you know there's a new beginning and you are resisting it come clean come clear and there is love coming in honestly honestly it's a very 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 straightforward libra message here don't hold it back on something which is gone heal that because as you know i many readers many psychics many mediums whatever it is call it they don't love the tower moment actually the tower moments are the turning points for the best because you keep going whatever is not good for you and spirit says the healing is good the new and rejuvenating this is a rebirth this is good that's what the tower is for it's kind of like to kick yourself between your eyes and wake you up and tells you hello you are better we want for you better look at you who you are and you deserve to be happy but that's the poised energy be ready building blocks build something new sturdy strong better and for some of you yes you might need help and this leg up i might be the one who actually tells you it's kind of like the the assurance that you gotta let it go clean it up but let's see here why this five of pentacles nine of wands 
Knight of Cups and Star. Aquarius water energy here. For some of you, you might deal with an Aquarius Libra as you are or a Gemini. I see Aquarius Libra Gemini. Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, most likely Scorpio, I see Sag and Leo. But what I'm seeing here, you, you want something here from somebody or you wanted something from somebody and they couldn't offer basically whatever you asked them. Because you know, if your cup is empty, you cannot give something you don't have to that person. So it's kind of a history with whoever is this person. But this person is leaving you with, with a bitter mouth here. Whoever is this person. Tower, what's the tower here for? Three of Swords. The universe doesn't want to see you sad anymore. The universe wants to move you from this heartbreak. Don't wait anymore. Don't wait anymore. It's kind of you waiting for the things to work out here. And it seems that only you put the effort here, whatever it is, the thing. And you put effort into something here which is not for you. Okay. Seven of Wands. Spirit says, follow your intuition. Don't resist that. Seven of Swords. It's kind of somebody here. Whatever they do, they do for their own happiness. And Spirit says, you have the ability to move forward towards something better. Like you feel like somebody here will offer you something. You, you ask them. There is somebody else. There is somebody else you need to move on towards. So I feel here, somebody here, their actions speak louder than their words. So Spirit says, look for their actions. And see it clearly whoever is this person they are playing games loves and it's a back and forth energy here it's kind of like don't waste your time they've been quite a while for some of you you've been in this connection for two years others of you there's four or five years or even nine years or even 11 years and spirit says how long how long so let's see here libra what you need to do because it's quite clear but let's see here if there is any assurance or any other message here Page of Cups, Eight of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Here you are. And Two of Wands, making important decisions. 
Also, I feel here you you could go back and forth, back and forth around this person because it could be kids, could be some obligations. But Spirit says you are better. You are way more balanced now the way you are going to be. It's like single and more balanced. Also, for many of you, there is somebody here coming up to you and you don't see it. Whatever is here, forgive yourself and move forward. Absolutely, that's what the Spirit says. Move forward and Nine of Pentacles, you're better. You'll be way more balanced letting go this person. Because this person who you are tied to, they offer you very little. So it's kind of open your eyes. Open your eyes and see the new. Because this person will always be this way in the Seven of Swords. So, my lovely Libra, it's kind of like a, at the crossroads or a turning point here for you. But Spirit says, whatever you gonna do, you gotta be crystal clear. It's kind of don't feed somebody which are not willing to share with you. Okay? And make room for new loves. Whoever is this person Yes, you do have a history. But I feel here they, they are not changing. As much as you wanted this connection to work. As much as you try to talk to them. Spirit says you are way way more stable where you're going so don't go backwards all right loves don't go backwards and let's see libra who you are potentially dealing here this month till from aries to the pisces let's see okay we have a Gemini. We have another Libra. We have a Capricorn. And the last one we have a Scorpio. If you're dealing with any of the zodiac signs, we'll see you in the extended. Otherwise, I wish an awesome month ahead. And we'll see you next time. Many blessings. Namaste.